check it out. <laughs> I found the exact type of wall unit that I was looking for, kind of crazy. I was coming to the conclusion that I was not gonna find this wall unit, at least for a while. I'm like, oh, this is gonna take a bit. But one of my subscribers, actually a few of you, sent me this unit off of an Instagram account. Uh, shoot, I'm forgetting the name of the company. It's this company. I'll, I'll have it linked down below where they were selling this. So there's actually four units to this. The fourth one is right here. Here's a photo of what it looks like with all four units. And I thought maybe all four would, would fit. Um, when I measured it, um, that I, yeah, I knew they weren't going to, but I didn't want to buy just three of the units because I don't know when I move or whatever, this is such a cool piece that I wanted the fourth one and the fourth one, well, I guess, I guess the one that didn't make the cut, at least for this uh, wall is the one with like the opening. But anyways, I have, a, I have an idea in my head. I'm thinking we put the opening one here. It's right here actually behind my couch right now. See this piece goes like that. And then there's another bottom structure that's right here. You can't see it. Um, hopefully that makes sense. Anyways, I'm going to put some little felt pads on the bottom of this last structure and I'm going to try it and it might not work right here. It might be too tight of a squeeze, but I think if I move these over right now, the Wi-Fi is kind of in the way. So that means I need to probably take out the back of one of these cabinets, I, I presume. Let's see. It really honestly might be too tight. And I have the felt things on the bottom of these ones, but I need to add, where'd they go? I think if I open this door, my front door, I can see how far I can slide these. Oh, hi, a doggy. Hi. <laughs> Go home, honey. <laughs> Hi. What's your dog's name again? Oh, she's so cute. Hi, honey. Oh, you want to come in for a sec? This is, this. She's confused. She's like, this looks like my house. <laughs> I, I had a dog. Uh, we had to put her down like six months ago. I know. It was sad. But... Oh, she's like my, she was like our childhood dog. It was like our family childhood dog. Oh my God, this one's so heavy. I think I'm gonna put this, that like mirror thing over there, but I need to prioritize what I'm getting done because for some reason I cannot focus. I'm so excited. I think this is gonna work. So now I'm gonna take this bookshelf one and put it there and then I can connect that like weird top piece. Can I lift this on my own is the question. Okay, that was a little rough. I probably should not have done that on my own. How do I turn them on? I'll have to show you at night, but I'm, I'm, I'm so excited. This is crazy. I just got out of the shower and I am going to drill a little, I guess not drill, I'm going to power saw a little square in the back of this because I was gonna do a little hole but I want the whole outlet to be cover or like be open. Does that make sense? Whatever, we're gonna drill it. Or no, we're gonna saw it. Ugh. 
hopefully, hopefully it works. I need to put my hair back though. It, uh, there we go, a headband. Okay, instead of drilling into this, I actually think it would be easier to just pop out the back now that I'm looking at it. There's like little screws. So I think I can just pop out the back. Okay, this was so much smarter. The back is open, you're never gonna see it. And then I think I can just save this piece if I really wanted to for like if I want this. Uh, in the future, but it's a closed cabinet, so it doesn't really matter. All right, first, my record player by Project. I think I'm gonna put the record player where I already put the records and speakers, right? I just don't feel like dealing with cords right now, but I'm pretty, uh, there's so, just a big ass cord. I actually think I like the records somewhere else, but all right, I guess records are going over here for now. Wow, I'm so pumped to have um, things off my ground. It's gonna look so clean. Adding in natural geographics, I don't know why I have this collection. Adding in this piece of art, finally a place for it. Now I am gonna get a TV here that I want to lean a piece of art over, but for now, We'll put this guy and an arrangement maybe, for now at least. The TV gets here Thursday because I want to watch TV. I'm thinking this will be my bar cabinet, this guy. And then, yeah, that's it. That's gonna be where alcohol lives. I do want to put a TV here with a piece of art covering it, but this is it for now. I'm also going to add in that. Never again will I be making a TikTok and a YouTube video. It's too stressful. I don't know why. I get stressed easy from that stuff. I think I should add this last shelf. This little flower is basically dead but it's fine. I call this one the Scrooge. <laughs> I forgot that I haven't shown you um, the new bar stools, my baby girls. They, when I originally found them, I was like, okay, these are good placeholders because my other ones, as you know, were very uncomfortable. I'm going to resell them on Facebook Marketplace if you want them, but they're uncomfortable. And I feel bad selling them for the price I got them for because they're definitely not worth that. So I'm gonna lower the price and hopefully, I don't know, I feel bad, whatever. I'm gonna say they're uncomfy, but they look good. Anyways, I found these on Facebook Marketplace and I was like, oh, these are just like great placeholder 
bar stools, but now I love them. They're the perfect height. They're so comfortable. And I want to reupholster them, but I'm going to do that over a time where I'm going to be out of town maybe because I don't want to be without bar stools. I use them every day to get work done. I put them on like little slidey pads so I can sit here and this is where I edit my videos basically. But yeah, they're kind of like they look like they would belong in my family's um, Michigan lake house, but I, I don't know. I weirdly like them. And I was saying in a video, I wanted like a wood that matches this wood. I just think they look really good. And I'm very pumped that they are comfortable and I can actually sit here. And then on this side of the counter, there's actually like a decent gap right here that I could put two other bar stools. I want two that don't have backs to them, so they're hidden back here. Um, so yeah, I just have to add that to my list of things that I have to get. There's a giant list. And I'm honestly making pretty good progress, I will say, because now that I have this wall unit thing, I don't feel as desperate to get furniture. I have a couch and a wall unit and I wanted a couch so I could sit on it and the wall unit stores away a ton of my stuff. Actually, hold on. I honestly hate the audio portion of this. I have like a little mic right under my shirt and I feel like sometimes the mics die and I don't know and then I go and check my computer and then I have to refilm it and that's no fun because I don't like to refilm things because I'm just talking out my ass. But anyways, um, because I don't have a dresser in my room yet, or really anything in my room besides a mattress. Uh, I don't really have storage for some of my clothes. So I put my t-shirt collection up there for now at least. A lot of fun t-shirts that you probably have all seen. I would say t-shirts are my, are my main thing I like to, to wear. This is Carmen Electra, Carmen Electra and uh, I forget who that is, Dennis Rodman. I forget every time. Um, I've worn this before, my Kokomo crop. I don't crop all of them, but right now the formula, I have two formulas for what I like to wear and uh, I call them the formula because it's funny. And yeah, anyways, I like to wear like a high-waisted, pant with a crop top or a mini dress with like a t-shirt over it, doesn't have to be cropped, with high boots. Those are my formulas right now. I go through phases of what I like to wear. What else do I have in here? Mm. This is my Proto Martyr t-shirt. That's Kate's brother's band. And I'm about to go to another concert of theirs in LA. So I'll see you there if you listen to Proto Martyr. Um, apparently I'm a huge fan. Uh, what else do I have in here? I don't even know why I'm really showing you this stuff. I just got this t-shirt, BMW. I would say that this t-shirt was a desperate purchase. I just really wanted to wear a new t-shirt that night. And I was like, you know what? I'm just going to buy this because I need to. Another little crappie space alien shirt. Uh, I got this at a gas station actually. Wait, look at this one. My mom had these made for my dad, and it's our heads. Me, uh, my sister in the middle, Teague, and then Jack. I don't, I don't ever really wear this shirt, but I'm not going to get rid of it, you know? It's kind of funny. Um, I, don't, I also don't ever wear this T-shirt because it's kind of ugly, but I'm a huge Vampire Weekend fan. Fan fan. If you don't know that about me, I love Vampire Weekend. It's kind of um, one of those bands that I grew up listening to with my family. It's one of those bands where every person in my family likes to listen to them. So when we hang out, we put on Vampire Weekend usually. Now we've all grown in our tastes, so there's a lot more stuff we all have in common. But for a long time, 
my entire family was obsessed with Vampire Weekend. We went to concerts together. And Vampire Weekend is from Cape Cod. And my family likes to, or we used to when we were younger, vacation in Wellfleet. My dad's obsessed with Cape Cod and wanted to retire there. And then I was like, no, you have to uh, stay near Chicago. So they got a lake house in Michigan. And then I was like, peace, I'm moving to California. So um, I got this t-shirt. This will be the last one. This probably isn't that entertaining. Um, a long time ago, this is one of my like oldest vintage tees and it almost feels like too vintage trendy to me. Like it's like, oh, you're trying too hard. So I don't really wear it that often. Um, but yeah, anything else good in here? I've been wearing this t-shirt a ton lately and it's not mine. It's actually Kate's boyfriend's friend that I don't even know Hutch his name is Hutch this is his t-shirt so Hutch if you're watching he's definitely not watching I have your t-shirt that's been passed along okay we're done oh wait one more my all-time favorite t-shirt this t-shirt of the band 10,000 Maniacs I grew up listening to 10,000 Maniacs and I went and saw them live in Chicago at a very small theater and I don't think the lead singer is even in it anymore. Um, but yeah, also another family favorite. The Wassels love 10,000 Maniacs. Um, all right. That was fun. Let me, oh, I want to show you... Um, my new outdoor chairs. I'm very excited about them. Y'all, look at my chairs. And look how, look how fancy I'm looking right now. Well, I guess not that fancy, but I am in a pea coat. See, can you see me? I can't, I can't see anything. Anyways, these are my chairs. Normally I do like a little montage where I bring them in and I'm like, oh, I just got back with my chairs. But I didn't really feel like filming when I got them. But, um, yeah, I found these on, oh, Jesus, uh, Facebook Marketplace, I think. The table still needs to be cut down. And, and um, it's like, right now it's, wait, look. Hold on. The table uh, is still too tall. I still need to cut it down. But it's been chilly out, so I don't really feel like doing it. And it also needs to be stained. But I got these chairs because I really like how they, um, hold on, let me show you a closer look. I really like how they are this like rusty iron. Um, and the seats obviously need to be reupholstered in like an outdoor fabric, but I'm really into them and I wish I could have this all set up for a nice reveal but maybe you'll once I reupholster I'll stain this I'll cut this down maybe I'll have a few people over and I'll film it you know but it's coming together what's going on slowly but surely you know and I think I'm gonna keep the table just a natural color because, I don't know, honestly, I think it just needs to be natural, but it's, it's starting to look orangey again, so I think I need to, like, sand it down, and then Kate suggested maybe doing, like, a teak stain on it or something. I don't know. I need to, there's so many, like, things I have to reupholster, so many, so many things to do. But hopefully you, hopefully you like um, my chairs, you know? Thank you.